Hello everyone. In the previous tutorial, we have seen that how we can draw boxes on the screen without using function. To draw a single box on the screen, we need approx 25 to 26 lines of code. And if we want more boxes on the screen, say we need 5 boxes on the screen, then we have to repeat the same code 5 times. So, for 5 boxes, we need 25 into 5, that is 125 lines of code approximately. To avoid the repetition of code, we need to create a function. So, I am going to open the previous program to draw a box and recreate it using function. So, without any further delay, let's begin. Start Turbo C by double clicking on Turbo C icon on the desktop. ID is open now. Select open from the file menu to open the previous program that is box 1. Ok. Now I am going to remove the extra code from this program. So go ahead and remove the extra code from the program so that our program can draw only one box on the screen. Okay. Saving it and check the program. Okay. It's okay now. Now select the entire code and cut it. Alt E for edit menu and select cut option and paste it after the closing brace of main. Now I am going to give a name that is going to create a function. Say box int sr int sc int er int ec. Okay. So this is the function header. Closing of function. Removing the CLRS here from here. Alt T cut and we are going to paste it here. Okay. Removing these four lines. Okay. I am going to declare its return type void. So, before main, here is your function prototype because our function is going to return other than an integer value. Now, I am going to call this function from main box 1 comma 1. So, starting row is 1 and starting column is 1. Ending row is 24. 
ending column is 79 okay you can give any parameters any valid parameter in this box function okay so saving the program compiling it so now going to run this program by using control F9 so our box is ready now now if you want multiple boxes then add another function call in main like I am going to copy it paste paste say third row third column 21 row 70 column fifth row fifth column 18 row 50 column So we have three function call in main having different parameters. So let's compile it and execute it. So we can see three boxes on the screen without repetition of code now we are going one step further we are going to call this function using loop with different values of starting row that is sc starting column sorry yes sir starting column that is sc ending row er and ending column ec so removing these extra lines i need a variable for loop that is i for i equal to 1 i less than equal to 11 i plus plus opening brace closing brace now I am going to increment the value of SR and SC and decrement the value of ER and EC so the value of SR and SC is incrementing and the value of ER and EC that is ending row and ending column is in decreasing order. So let's go ahead and run this program. So this is the output. So you can see couple of boxes on the screen. So in this way we can avoid repetition of code using function. In the upcoming video we will see how to add colors and animation in our boxes using function call inside loop. Till then. Bye. Thanks for watching.